Herman Branson, born 1914, died 1995, African-American physicist. Herman Branson was one of few African-Americans to direct graduate research in physics. He collaborated with chemist Linus Pauling on defining the structure of proteins, which was a significant contribution to the fields of biochemistry and biology. As head of the physics department at Howard University and president of Central State University and Lincoln University, Branson has been devoted to the development of black scientists and other scholars. Herman Russell Branson was born on August 14, 1914 in a small town in the small town of Pocahontas, Virginia, and he received his early education there. His family moved to Washington, D.C., and Branson graduated as valedictorian in 1932 from segregated Dunbar High School, which was famous for its outstanding faculty and curriculum. He attended the University of Pittsburgh for two years, then transferred to Virginia State College in Petersburg. He graduated summa cum laude in 1936 and received a fellowship to study physics in the graduate program at the University of Cincinnati. His dissertation included a practical section on measuring X-ray intensity and a theoretical section on the quantization of mass. Branson was the first African American to obtain a PhD in a physical science at the University of Cincinnati when he graduated in 1939. He left for New Orleans, Louisiana to teach mathematics and physics at Dillard University for two years, then accepted an appointment as assistant professor of physics and chemistry at Howard University in Washington, D.C. in 1941. He was named professor in 1944 and served as head of the physics department from 1941 to 1968. At Howard University, Branson was able to obtain research grants and developed an undergraduate and develop an undergraduate major in physics as well as a graduate program, both of which were rare in black colleges. In the 1940s, physics courses at the at those colleges were, for the most part, service courses for pre-medical students and other science majors. But Branson was able to expand the department at Howard and to offer an accredited physics major. Later, he added graduate courses and provided research opportunities at the university and at nearby government laboratories in Washington. Branson's own research at Howard was varied. His investigative, he, he investigated biological reaction kinetics using isotopic labeling. Isotopes are species of an element having identical atomic numbers by varying masses. And he studied mass spectral fragmentation on an instrument he acquired for Howard. In 1948 to 1949 academic, re, academic year, he received a National Research Council Senior Fellowship to travel to the California Institute of Technology, where he worked with Linus Pauling. His research led to one of Pauling and Robert B. Corey's first papers on the helical structure of proteins, which had a profound effect on development of molecular biology and biochemistry, and to the understanding of diseases like sickle cell anemia, which are the result of aberrant protein structure. Branson was always involved in the educational and economic improvement of African Americans, and he believed that the nation's demand for scientists would provide great opportunities for them. During World War II, he directed a program in physics in the engineering, science, and management war training program at Howard to provide science education for civilians in the war effort. It, is, it was one of the few programs of its kind in physics at a black college. He was also involved in programs for increasing the number of African Americans enrolled in science courses in high school and in the health professions. He served on many boards, which gave scholarship aid and research grants, as well as in other civic and professional organizations. In 1968, Branson accepted an offer from Central State University in Wilberforce, Ohio, to serve as its president and after two years left to become president of Lincoln University in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Lincoln University was the first college for black students in the United States, founded for the training of ministers. The appointment of Branson as president indicated that the university hoped to improve its science curriculum and increase its prestige. Branson served as president until his retirement 
1985 at the age of 71. He returned to Howard at that time and supervised a program which recruited bright high school students into science careers. Branson has received many awards and honors, including honorary degrees from institutions such as Brandeis University, University, Western Michigan University, Shaw College at Detroit, Virginia State University, Drexel University, University of Cincinnati, and Lincoln University. In 1939, Branson married Coralyn Gray of Cincinnati, Ohio, at the end of his graduate studies. They had one son, Herman Edward, and one daughter, Cortrude, Cor both physicians. After his retirement, Branson lived in Silver Springs, Maryland. He died on June 7, 1995, at Washington Hospital Center. Citations and sources of this audio are in the description.